Hi, this is Stefan from the Mod3D Tech Team. In this tutorial we are going to look at how to enable your apps to work in Stereo 3D using Mod Stereo 3D. First of all we need to make sure Mod Stereo is started. Therefore I'll quickly start Mod Stereo 3D. You will see the splash screen popping up and you will notice a little tray icon in your system bar. To enable our applications to run in 3D Stereo, we need to start the More 3D Stereo Enabler from the context menu of the More Stereo 3D tray icon. Here we have our application, which I now will quickly remove to show you how to enable your application properly. You simply click Add Application and navigate to the application's primary EXE file. In this case, in the case of Katia, it's the cnext.exe. Next we set the application version to tell more stereo whether to use its 32-bit or 64-bit libraries. In our case, it's 64-bit. Next we set the graphic library where we can choose from DirectX and OpenGL. In our case, it's OpenGL. Lastly, we enable the application and click Save and Close. Then we start our application. Next, we load a 3D model to begin a 3D visualization. As you can see, there is no 3D effect in this scene yet. To change this, we will display the in-app control panel by pressing the numpad star key. That numpad star key is often confused with other keys, so here's a quick visualization of the star key. Use up and down arrow to switch between fields. Use left and right arrow to increase or decrease field values. For technical reasons, please move the model when working in the in-app control panel. So, let's focus at the in-app control panel and adjusting the 3D values. First of all, we need to make sure that the current window number equals the selected window number. This is because there are applications using multiple viewports and by selecting this value, we select the viewport we want to convert to 3D stereo. So I'll quickly set the selected window number to 2. Next we have to set the max 3D depth to something bigger than 0 to have a first impression of a 3D effect. For instance, I will set this now to 0.050. You see that this gives a basic idea of 3D Stereo, yet the 3D Stereo is not that impressive and we are going to look at how to optimize this now. To do so, we need to identify the foremost point of the scenery, which is in our case obviously the airplane's nose. We focus the app Z front value and begin increasing it until the foremost point of the scenery becomes congruent. Yes, I think we are there. It's quite a good setting. As you can see, there is no red cyan color aside of the airplane's nose. 
Next we will adjust the pop-out effect by using the view percent out of screen function. As I increase this value you will see the congruent part of the scene shifts backwards. Everything in front of the congruent part will now pop out of the screen, while everything behind the congruent part will have a window effect. Increasing the value even further makes the congruent part shift even further backwards. Thanks for watching!